fired in my first hour. Had the craziest thing happened to me. I was headhunted for a role. I did multiple interview rounds and formally accepted an offer. I did my first day and in the first hour I talked to the CEO and we went over some I was fired. He said because I yawned once during the meeting my energy wasn't right. If anyone has a rec for a good lawyer in CA let me know. Sounds like a the kind of psychopath I wouldn't want to work for. What did the hiring manager and recruiter and headhunter say? I'd leave them all terrible feedback. Glassed all this. I once had a comedian freak the F out because I covered up a yawn. I had been up all night the night before, our tickets were for the late show, and I had worked late that day. Add the two drink minimum, and yeah. He was so rude that another lady at the table asked what his problem was. I've been made fun of by comics, but this was personal. He also made fun of me for being blonde and swore I had to be dumb Russell Peters, folks. I usually love sitting up front, but this guy had baggage. Good luck. Some people are just wrecks. Yawning doesn't mean you're bored. It's the body's way of getting more oxygen to your blood cells. Anyway, fuck them. Get the confirmation of firing in writing if you can, along with reason why. See if they're willing to double down on their aggression so you can use that to collect unemployment. Make sure Glassdoor hears about your experience with the anti-yawning company. Sounds like you dodged a bullet. I wonder if you can file for unemployment now. I'd consider that to be a toxic work environment. Shit rolls downhill so if the CEO does that, then you can bet there is more of it in the other ranks. You might be fortunate to escape early in the game. I don't mean for this to sound harsh, the CEO did you a huge favor. You don't want to work for a dick like that under any circumstance. Like that a hole never yawns. Even dumber because yawning is a natural response to adrenaline and not always an indication of being tired. I always start yawning a ton before I go surfing on a big day or have to give a presentation or whatever, but then once you start the thing it's go time, the yawning goes away, and you lock in. Before you waste time and money hiring a lawyer, did you quit a job to take this one? They can fire you for any reason, so the firing itself is not illegal, but if you incurred expenses as a result of taking this job, and even more importantly you left a job for this then you may have some damages and can possibly go after them under promissory estoppel. I'd have been like, sorry, didn't see where the complimentary cocaine was. What a laughable reason to think you can fire someone over. I'm willing to bet CEO had skin in the hiring game and got outvoted when you were the favorable hire. I swear CEO is a mental illness. Thank God you didn't fart. You just avoided a nuclear missile, why would you want an attorney? They can't help you unless they violated labor or federal laws by terminating you. Don't waste your time on this, move on, and don't list them on an application. Good thing you have only an hour invested in that nut job. That's crazy, but it's an all too familiar story these days. People are often fired their first day on the job for BS reasons. But supposedly there's a labor shortage. Unless you had a written contract with them stating they had to pay you severance or something, employment is at will in most states of the USA. Basically found out how shitty the place is in the first hour, I'd consider that a success. I was denied a job as an RN because the manager said I was timid. Bitch, you don't fucking know me. I've been in your office for 10 minutes. How dare she say that? It's always their loss fuck em. And now I've been at my current job for over five years and I love my job. Sometimes things just aren't for you. Take this as a blessing in disguise. If you'll get you fired wondering what fart get you? In Europe it would have been illegal and impossible to fire you after an hour lol. Seinfeld you got fired for yawning? George for a yawn, Jerry. For a yawn. Sounds like he does this to keep other employees in line. Bring in a new guy fire him for some dumb shit to prove he's a no-nonsense dictator. While everyone else is too afraid to even yawn. So we get shit wages in the UK but we would never be fired on a whim. 
that would be a field day for my union. As someone who yawns when hyperglycemia is kicking in, to me that would be grounds for saying they are discriminating due to medical issue. Baby needs snacks. I yawn when I'm nervous I'd have no chance. Were you hired by Elon Musk? Sounds like something a douche like him would do. Damn you dodged a bullet friend. Sorry it happened but it's a blessing in disguise. You were hired to fill a quota. They needed to prove that they were actually hiring people for the roles they posted. You could spend time focusing on a lawyer but CA, along with 48 other states are at will employment. This is an acceptable reason to fire someone under the letter and interpretation of the law. I'd suggest putting all that energy into job hunting instead best of luck. FYI no laws were broken. Before your email is deactivated be sure to sign up for blind. CA is an at-will state, I lawyer isn't gonna do anything for you. Honesty sounds like you dodged a bullet, I take it in stride and keep looking. Why are these CEOs egotistical assholes? Like Elon Musk. That's what money and power does to some people with the wrong leadership personality. I once got fired after one week for not being good enough. They didn't even give me a chance. It costs money to hire and onboard employees so chances are management at that company for you sucked. As other have said you dodged a bullet. I didn't get a job after an interview. Their feedback you look tired. It's not illegal to be an asshole. If it were, there would be no entrepreneurs and businessmen. I'm not sure what the laws are in CA, but I'm not sure you can do much legally. They could say that it was during your probation period. Maybe if you can get them to say in writing that they fired you for yawning. Thinking face. What company is this so I don't apply to it? Wow. Triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post. Triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post. Sucks that you went through all that just to find that the CEO is a psychopath. But better than finding out a few months down the road. Multiple round interviews are a drug and then you make it through just to get fired by a psycho CEO. I'm sorry you had to go through all that. Thanks for sharing and best of luck. Sounds like the kind of asshole that has fluorescent lighting and doesn't realize that it has a different effect on different people. I might be the odd one out, but a room full of fluorescent tubes messes with my senses and puts me into a sleepy daze. There have been study on those shitty tubes, they aren't good for anyone. This is absolutely disgusting. How do people like that get in positions of power? I can almost guarantee you don't have a leg to stand on unless you have it in writing that is why you were fired. They will deny it in court if you can even get it on the books. Don't bother getting a lawyer. You do not have a case. You are probably lucky you found out early. I've had managers and supervisors complain about me yawning at work. One time I had a district manager scold me about yawning during my shift and I told her to fire me if she had a problem with it. I've got chronic illnesses and told her she was welcome to cover the rest of my 12-hour shift if it bothered her. It's really shitty but you dodged a bullet. Sounds like you dodged a bullet. He also sounds like a controlling narcissist. Legal firing, but not for cause so you get unemployment, especially if you were employed prior to this. Stupid way for the company to be on the hook for unemployment, but since this is CA and this is not a misconduct related termination, you totally do qualify for unemployment. Did he take his mask off and Elon popped out? I nearly typed pood which would have been just as accurate. Name this place and ask them for a written letter. This is also why PPL are starting to simply not quit their previous jobs even after accepting a new role. Taking whatever leave you have from your old job to try out the new one is fast becoming a thing. 